Today I'm sharing some easy watercolouring for stamped flowers. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I've got the Weekend Doodles stamp set from Altenew. It's part of a new release, but I'll get into that a little bit later on. I am going to be doing some really simple watercolouring of these fun doodle style flowers. I've pre-stamped them using some of the permanent black ink because I do like to let it dry properly before I add water because I don't want the ink to bleed. Although it is fairly resilient, I, I like to leave it sort of at least 20 minutes. I've got my Ulta New watercolour pan set. This is 36 different colours. I have added one little half pan to the set and it's a white. And how I'm using that here today is I'm actually diluting the alter new colours with the white to create my own colours. You can actually mix your colours together as well to create new colours but I thought today I'd sort of have a bit of fun with some white paint. You can also use um, some tube paint and mix it that way or you can actually dilute the paint with just water. So I've got the uh, aqua brush from Altenew. I'm tending towards the middle size brush and I'm pretty much using it for everything at the moment and I am actually having water in the barrel, squeezing my barrel but I do have a, um, a jar off to the side that I wash my brush in as well. I have found these brushes are really easy to use and these paints are really easy to use as well and what I'm doing here is I'm just adding my base layer of color so all of my base color is down on all my flowers I made sure that I didn't touch areas that were still wet next to each other and I've allowed it to dry while I'm waiting for it to dry I'm testing my background color which is going to be like a pale brown and I created that with the white as well now, I thought I'd add some really simple shading and all I'm doing is either squeezing my brush to add some extra water or if I want it to be darker I'm actually not diluting it with the water I'm actually just picking it up with the tip of the brush and that's what I find these aqua brushes are really easy to use if you haven't got any experience in watercoloring this is a really fun way to start my biggest tip seriously wait for it to dry in between your layers it's the hardest thing for me to do you can actually hit it with a heat tool if you are impatient <laughs> but, but you can also go and do something else color something else in the meantime and that's what I've been doing planning out other cards or checking my emails getting on Pinterest <laughs> being inspired and now I'm just going to add a really light wash for my background. I'm adding quite a bit of water to this um, puddle that I've made. I mixed the espresso brown with some white paint and I'm adding quite a bit of water. I am using Bristol Smooth cardstock today which is not watercolour cardstock but it does tolerate a fairly generous amount of water without any problems with pilling and I find that if I do want to blend my colors better then it does work very well. Okay so I'm going to use some of the paint that's on my palette now this is just a plastic um, this is the medium size palette from Altenew and I use it all the time um, and all I did was reactivate the paint with some water and then I'm using the brush to flick that across my card. I did that with the orange and the pink watercolour and let that dry. Now this set's called Delicate Flower Bed and it has some, it's a big background stamp of flowers but I want to use one of the sentiments and so many of these sentiments would have worked here today. I did make sure to grab one that I thought would fit so I could still put the tittle on the eye. <laughs> And now this is how I'm trying to work out what color to stamp the sentiment. It took me ages to work out which sentiment to actually stamp but to work out which color to use I've got I think it's called Autumn Blaze. Um, it's the third orange <laughs> in the orange set and I've just got a scrap piece of paper here and I've stamped it out in the Autumn Blaze and the baby pink 
and I'm trying to work out which color I want anyway I just thought I've got to do this I'm going to sit here and think about it for two hours otherwise <laughs> and so the baby pink that color one <laughs> and this is something that I've started using again it's uh, acetate sheet with the grid lines on it and it's the same size as an A2 car front and I'm finding this has been very helpful lately to line up my senti sentiments to make sure they're straight I, I had it before but didn't tend to use it in my large misty but I'm using it quite a bit with my mini misty go figure and I didn't think about it afterwards but a two-tone sentiment probably would have fit the bill here perfectly and I would have been happier but anyway it was baby pink and I really like the pretty new baby pink I've got the mega friend die and I am popping that up on some fun foam using my matte medium and I leave the die cut in place within the fun foam when I attach and that way I find it doesn't um, lose its shape I also cut my fun foam in my big shot not in my Gemini junior because the Gemini junior uh, is too much pressure and then all I've got to do is add the actual card panel to the front of my card and also the die cut sentiment this card today is part of a hop for a release at Altenew we're here in April 2019 so if you want a chance to win I'll have the link in the description below and you can find out the details at my blog you can also see another card that I've made and I have two landscape cards today which is really quite unusual for me but the other one's quite cute too I think and there's some new paper packs that have been released as well so you need to check those out I've used them on the other card today so if you like this video please like it and if you haven't already already <laughs> I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel <laughs> till next time happy paper crafting bye